Okay, uh, let's start. Hi, we're Team ANPM, and we're focusing on creating curriculum for the women's program at the Horizon Center. So to quickly begin with um, introducing our team, my name is Sejin. Sejin, hold on. I think Malaika just said that her internet stopped. Oh, okay. Sorry, our teammate is having internet problems. One second. Hi, I'm back. Sorry, it cut off for a sec. <laughs> okay, let's start from the beginning. Okay. Hi, we're Team AMPM, and we're focusing on creating curriculum for the women's program at the Horizon Center. So to quickly begin with introducing our team again, um, my name is Sejin. I'm Alice. I'm Hannah. I'm Malika. And here is our design process. And throughout our presentation, we will go through each of these steps. And we will be explaining our research and how we develop our ideas and leading on to the final curriculum that we designed. So this was a really interesting experience for us. Um, because of COVID-19, we got the opportunity to consider how to bring physical class format onto an online platform with limited to no resources. Um, we hope despite this new format to be able to continue the design curriculum of the Horizon Center. So with those in mind, our four key focus was on education, relationship, play, and psychosocial impact to create playful but psychosocial education and also focus on building strong relationships with and within the HC women. With these focus in mind, we began our researching. First thing is um, due to COVID-19, many things has changed. Uh, people had to stay home in fear of the virus and that could take a big toll on one's mental health. According to the SARS pandemic report, quarantine could lead to severe mental problems, including loss of motivation, depression, and even post-traumatic disorders. The women at the Horizon Center had to take refuge in a new country. About one out of three asylum seekers and refugees experience high rates of depression, anxi anxiety, and post-traumatic stress disorder. And these stressors can bring back these symptoms later on in their lives. But after interviewing staff at the center, we were able to get a much better picture of the situation. Uh, the women have less time on their hands, especially during COVID-19 lockdown when the whole family is home. They have a lot more responsibilities as a wife, mother, and, and overall to manage the household. And lastly, developing an engaging program is vital for a successful outcome and higher participation rate. Combining elements of play and education can help learn skills in fun and engaging way, way and also group learning can strengthen a sense of community and empathy. Many refugee women were exposed to inhumane and degrading conditions on road and sea, which could lead to significant trauma. The coronavirus outbreak has also brought new uncertainty and danger. All these factors can lead to psychological distress while feeling alone, unable to find the positive light within their lives. In summary, our objective was to create an engaging five-day program that offered these women a platform to experience, express their emotions and develop emotional coping skills through engaging activities while further developing design skills. After the research, we did countless brainstorming sessions and narrowed down to these ideas for the program. This is the general layout. Oh, I think you skipped. This is a general layout of how we decided to structure our program week. Monday would be a warm up. Wednesday would explore the main activity of the week, and Friday would reflect on how these activities apply in their real life, with refle reflection sessions in between. For the opening activity, we wanted a warm up that could grab participants' attention to want to continue rest of the week. The look around you activity was taking photos of belongings or space. The circle challenge was to draw as many facial expressions in 30 circles. So for the Wednesday activity, through drawing and ideating, participants would dive deeper into the topic of the week, emotions. We wanted participants to create a character revolving around specific emotions. One critical part of this was allowing for exploration of these characters' personalities and backstories, 
This meant the character development isn't purely dependent on the participants' drawing skills. However, we had multiple ideas in mind on how to guide the women through this actual process of creating their own characters, since we know drawing isn't easy for everyone. So the first idea was to give the participants the creative freedom to create their own shapes using spices and juices and fruits and mixing that with water and then creating your character from those shapes. The second idea was using the outlines of objects that they actually own and using that as a starting point to then create their characters. The idea three was filling in uh, provided character templates and pre-drawn um, character outlines and different details. So for the final activity, participants would look at applying these characters in real life situations. The first idea to do that was this emotional action plan for where um, they would talk about what they would do if they encountered different types of emotional distress. And the second idea was looking at how one negative emotion turns into a positive one and showing the process of how that happens in a storyline. So after getting feedback from Ismini and Saye, uh, we were able to pick which activities we felt best suited, um, were best suited to engage the women. So look around you is a great way to tie together the rest of the activities by starting off of taking a photo in the participant space and then moving on to Wednesday where you can use that exact same object as the baseline for building a character. The Wednesday activity, we actually combined little bits of all three of our ideas uh, using the spices and fruits as a coloring element, the uh, character templates as references, as well as using a personal object. And then finishing the off the week smoothly, ending with the transition from a negative to a positive emotion character. Um, this was because according to the staff, um, it is something the women often str struggle with. After we decided on our activities, we then began our first phase of their testing. So here's an illustration of the week layout that we tested in phase one. So on Monday, you photograph two objects that make you feel positive emotions and then two objects that make you feel negative emotions. Then on the Wednesday, creating two emotion characters, one positive and one negative from the two objects that you photographed. And then on Friday, create a story illustrating what negative character what the negative character does to then turn into a positive one. And so after testing this amongst ourselves, we had a few concerns because we realized that the net the use of the negative emotion character and placing negative emotions on belongings can be triggering, um, especially if especially if you are in an unstable environment. And we were unsure of how it would affect our participants. So then to this concern, we then decided to create another version. So here's an illustration of the week layout of the second version. So we decided for this week to remove the negative emotion character completely, starting with sharing three objects you associate positive emotion to and creating a positive emotion character. And then in the Friday, looking at what activities make you and your character happy. So we wanted to separately test these two versions with our classmates, as well as get feedback from the HC staff to see what would be the most effective. And so our testing of these two um, versions, we learned our, com our concern that it was difficult for people to associate negative feelings to an object and that they also didn't enjoy putting negative associations to their belongings. They would also be creating a negative character before understanding that it would soon turn into a positive one, um, which may cause the participant to feel down at the end of the Wednesday activity. We also found that participants found it confusing shifting from the negative emotion into a positive one. Um, decided to then go with version two because they received much more positive results. And throughout version two, participants had an uplifting experience and reminisced on moments in their lives. Um, we also found that their flow of confusion from the um, Hannah, you were cutting. So can you repeat the last paragraph? Oh, sure. So we decided to go with version two because it received more positive results. Um, and throughout version two, participants had an uplifting experience and reminisced on happy moments in their lives. And we found that the program had a better flow without confusion from the participants' perspectives. Now to the most important part. 
In the next few slides, we are going to be showing our finalized program that will be sent out to the women's group. Currently, the women receive the activities through WhatsApp. Though this isn't the most effective format for lesson plans, it is what the women are most comfortable with. Due to the limitations of the WhatsApp format, we decided to first be introducing posters to allow the information to be viewed in a clear format instead of multiple messages. These posters are about introducing us and giving an easy overview why we are doing these activities, elaborating on the importance of emotions and explaining the goals for this week. Posters will be tra translated ahead of time into Farsi so that both languages can be shared into the same format. We've all experienced the headache of having to go through a bunch of messages in a group chat and losing information in the swarm of messages. So our focus was on sharing instructions in a way that was clear and concise. This led, led us to use short GIFs as demonstration following with a short corresponding instruction. These GIFs would provide thorough demonstration while not taking up as much data as a video. Women don't have much data and long videos would confuse them, so the staff had to send screenshot segments of the videos before. The GIFs would allow no information to be lost in the process. And this is our structure for the week. In the next few slides, we're going to be go going over what we created for each day. Um, so we made uh, a brief introduction poster for each activity, which will be sent out each activity day, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And on the poster, it has uh, the title, description, purpose, and what they need in the activity. Um, as you can see in the example photos on the slide, on Monday, the participants need to take photo of three objects that makes them feel positive emotions and identify what word would describe that emotion. Um, this makes them appreciate the object around them that have personal meaning and also understand what things make them happy. So this just clearly shows the activity for the day. This will accompany the step-by-step -step instruction. And also for this activity, we have developed the positive emotion template, which is on the right, that can help the women think of more complex positive emotions and also expand their vocabulary. And on the Wednesday activity, uh, the participants personify objects that represent a specific positive emotion to them. Uh, most of them can use the object from the Monday activity, Vi visually illustrating features and colors and accessories based on that positive emotion. They then use uh, guiding questions to develop the backstories and the personalities more of these characters, further exploring the feelings behind these objects and their corresponding emotions. Here's basically a shortened and very compiled version of the several GIFs that go with that day. Um, and it kind of walks them through the steps of the activities, showing the various options of how they can create their character, as well as um, options like tracing or freehand, as well as adding color with fruits and spices. Uh, we also, we made templates to help them uh, think about the features, as well as providing guiding questions for developing their characters. In the Friday activity, the participants draw their character acting out their personal favorite memory, activity, and hobby, allowing them in the future to then use these activities as a tool to make themselves positive again whenever they are upset. This also allows them to apply what was learned about emotions in the previous activity through ideating and thinking about other positive experiences related to that emotion. Again, this is a GIF we put together to walk them through this and a template for even more clarity. So we developed reflection questions for after each activity to spark conversations. These are just as a guide to help Ismini and Saye facilitate the conversations which follow in the group chat. These are only a few which are on the slide. Um, and then Malaika, our teammate, is also in the women's group and she will be be able to monitor and facilitate the conver this conversation, as well as any questions which might come up. So with Ramadan currently happening, meaning that the women are fasting, we wanted to then save our dissemination as it requires more energy and time. And so because of this, us and the Coffee Run team are currently giving out some smaller activities, um, such as sharing a favorite recipe to your favorite fit. 
disseminating these small activities allows us to build a relationship with the women before going into more sensitive, deeper conversations within our longer activities. And just for next steps, uh, we're going to be disseminating our activities, as we just said, for the women's program at the end of Ramadan and Eid. Um, also, these activities are going to be reformatted and then hopefully distributed with the boys team um, for their Hiwan and the Horizon staff are looking at creating an online database um, which can compile all these kind of lesson plans to share with the boys and the women and possibly um, the UNHCR at a later date. Um, and so our GIF format and the corresponding scripts will make it really easy to convert into the usual video format that the boys use. Uh, so thank you for taking the time to listen to our presentation. We know it was long and we'd love any feedback or questions that you have. Well, thank you guys. Uh, that was a great presentation. Um, any feedback from the guests? Yeah, I had a quick comment. So great job, guys. I'm Shri Mai. I was one of the students who went to Greece this past January. And one thing that we observed was that when we did like a video lesson for the women one day, they like actually went home and did a lot of videos of their kids and of their families. So I just was wondering, did you consider including like kids and family in any of these activities or like how you could involve the rest of the women and their homes? Yeah, we definitely did. Um, we talked to Ismini and Saye about that a little bit at the beginning when we, were talk when we were developing our activity. And one of the things that they mentioned to us is that some of the women don't like it when it's purely based around the kids. And so, cause this is also something for themselves to be doing. So we also have created, we're also talking about maybe creating some like paper materials or something like that that they could do with their kids or ways that this can then be adapted or if they like this activity itself they could also use these characters and talk to their kids about it or use it to tell a story so we were hoping it was something that they could use it with their kids but not purely based around their kids makes sense thanks also maybe a secondary point some of the things that we've been doing now the shorter activities are very based around the kids and the family and the home so hopefully that creates conversation and kind of makes it more comfortable place for them to maybe take these other activities there later. I really like how you guys integrated this uh, into WhatsApp. I think GIFs load much more easily than videos and the fact that it's really digestible to have like step one, step two, the poster is really readable. I think you really uh, did make this uh, something that they can use from their phones and a lot of them do use their phones. Like I remember Ismini sometimes would always be texting the women on WhatsApp and trying to get them to come in. So being able to reach them through that with their, um, with the materials directly to their phones, I think is a really great thing. So great job on uh, making it something that they can use from their phones and really working with the platform. Thank you. Hi guys, I miss Mimi. Uh, Bettina, go ahead. You go. No, 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 you go. You go. Uh, okay. I, I just want to say real quick, I think it, it was uh, really great, especially from a psychosocial perspective. I think it's really great that you're so thorough and that you've chosen one focus area because I think especially for that, it can, it can be tempting to put all these uh, words onto it, but I think it's much better for the beneficiary to to have a clear up, uh, learning object. So I think that was really good. And it, you built on kind of different blocks of psychosocial learning really well. So I just want to thank you. Give that. Yeah. Yeah. And it, I, I really also like that you assessed that you thought about maybe this could be difficult with the mm -hmm. negative emotions. Um, and very good that you did that assessment. But actually, I would also say for the future, I would also love to see it with the negative version on it because that would be an amazing skill for them to learn to go from the negative onto uh, the positive. And actually, I wouldn't be so worried about reminding people about things that are negative in their life because they know that. They are, they are very close to that. That's actually their, their everyday life very much. So, so for, for another time, uh, if we are allowed to, to use your material, we can maybe try to do it in that version also, because I think it could be a very important skill for the women to learn. It is something that we see them struggling a lot with. Uh, yeah. 
Yeah, that's definitely something we'd be open to doing and like helping and working with you guys to make more different versions of this activity. And of course, all of this is open to changing and using based on whatever you guys think is actually going to work best for the boys and the women. So I just want to thank you uh, again, because um, especially with the AMPM team, we worked uh, alongside uh, for uh, many hours and they spent so, so much time developing activities for this specific target group. And I, I just want to share with all of you how impressed we are that um, everything that we were saying to the girls, they were considering it and they were adapting it to fit our program, to fit to the needs, to fit to the format. And uh, it wasn't any, even one time that we said something and they didn't even consider it or changed it and make it even greater than it was. And I just want to say how grateful we are for this collaboration. Yeah. yeah, thank you as well for like constantly coming and like coming and talking to us and doing all those meetings. Like it was very helpful. We really appreciate it. Um, one thing that I really uh, appreciate a lot uh, is that you guys uh, decide to postpone uh, the activity dissemination uh, period uh, you know, further down the line after uh, Ramadan and Eid. So, and, but also uh, you two teams, uh, Coffee Run and AMPM team, cre uh, creating these smaller activities, uh, you know, that we can disseminate uh, throughout the week. I think that's uh, a very nice uh, way to, you know, continuously, you know, uh, engage with this group, but also kind of like build that trust part, you know, uh, in order to, you know, deep dive into uh, these more, uh, deeper conversation, uh, like activities and stuff. I think that was a very nice approach. So yeah, thank you for creating those things. And I want to confirm that these small activities were, was a, were a success. The women love it and they, uh, they participate every day. Yes. Any last feedback or comments, questions? I would just echo to say I, I think the team did a great job and it's really nice to see how they have worked hard at making a medium that works for the women because it seems it's meaning that a lot more women are participating now that it is by phone. Could you talk a little bit about that? Yes, uh, many of the women that we used to have in the program in the previous years uh, we're not able to join uh, so regularly, especially since uh, we moved to the new Horizon Center uh, that was uh, before the Horizon Boys Center. So that was very positive because some of the women, their husbands didn't allow them to come or they had given birth recently or um, they had other, they were lived uh, far away and they didn't have uh, good transportation systems to move. So that's a very, they're very grateful that they have something that uh, they can learn and they have this community and uh, they participate a lot more and we're very, very happy to see them back. And uh, we believe that we also, uh, with all this uh, online program, we build it again bridges in order for them to be more comfortable uh, to return back to the Horizon uh, Center whenever we open. So uh, yes, we're very, very grateful for all these things. I just wanted to say too, the, the ability to effectively educate through WhatsApp and like and GIFs is extremely innovative and could be applied to, you know, so many other fields. And I would just say that this, that's a huge gift to the Horizon Center, I think. And it's really, um, it's really important work. So seriously, well done. Um, incredible presentation. You guys should be really proud of yourselves. Just, just to echo Sam and his meaning, like I think you guys showed a really um, great propensity to adapt because like weekly things would change for you. And even just like two weeks before this all happened, you had to like shift your programming to do these like um, yeah, these things, these low stakes sharing things. So I just, uh, it's quite amazing that your resiliency given what's going on. <laughs>